Chapter 2, The Resuscitation Team. Welcome to the lesson on the resuscitation team. In this video, we'll review the components that make up the resuscitation team and their roles. The AHA guidelines for PALS highlights the importance of effective team dynamics during resuscitation. In the community, outside of healthcare facilities, the first rescuer on the scene may be performing CPR alone. However, in a hospital setting, a pediatric arrest event may bring dozens of people to the patient's room. The AHA supports a team structure with each provider assuming a specific role during resuscitation. This consists of a team leader and several team members, all who should have clear communication among them. The team leader is responsible for organizing the group, monitoring performance, directing team members, and providing feedback on group performance after the resuscitation effort. Additionally, team leaders should be capable of performing all PALS skills. Team members are expected to understand their roles, be willing, able, and skilled to perform their roles, understand PALS sequences, and be committed to the success of the team. Resuscitation demands mutual respect, knowledge sharing, and constructive criticism. After each resuscitation effort, the providers should review the process and provide each other with helpful constructive feedback. A respectful and supportive attitude is crucial and aids in processing the inevitable stress during pediatric resuscitation. This concludes our lesson on the resuscitation team. Next, we'll review basic life support.